Hey folks, I hope everybody is doing well and welcome to another video by Genesis Sabers and today we are going to look at the Grandmaster Yoda's lightsaber. So this is a very nicely built lightsaber over here and as you can see, it's pretty short actually. So for those with a kid, you may like to have this, it's quite sturdy on hand. So this is built, this is by CC Sabers, the hill is by CC Sabers. Um, I think in conjunction with ELF and the chassis is designed by myself it comes with a crystal chamber which we will show you later and it's installed with a ProfitBot 2.2 running ProfitOS 5.9 so it comes with gesture injection so it's twist to turn on, twist to turn off also so um, I will be using the de doing the demo with this complementary um, 7 inch Three quarter inch blade, so uh, this comes complementary with this hilt, which you can purchase at genesissavers.com right now. And of course, it will also come with the stand, the Yoda length, I think twenty three inch blade. So both of these are built by myself, and it will come together as a full package. So um, without further ado, let's take a look at the chassis. So you start by unscrewing the bottom. It reveals the speaker, twenty two mm vacuum speakers. But do not take it out this way. The right way to remove it is to use. Let me find. Uh, this is the Allen key that will come with it. Uh, same size. I think this is a one point five mm. Uh, and loosen the blade retention screw, set screw. Which is here, and this is the blade plug that comes with it. I see the top here. Just push it down, and you will push the chassis out safely without damaging it. So pull it out, and it reveals the crystal chamber chassis with the battery which we'll take a better look right now so anyway um, this is the blade plug that comes with the kit very nicely made I must say and we'll look at this later so um, close up look of the chassis there is a profit board access at the back over here 18500 battery um, slightly lesser in capacity in the, as compared to the standard 18650 batteries that we used. This is a protector battery by Keep Power, so it's pretty safe. And I ran this on the blade for more than 20 minutes and got, and got plenty of juice left, so no worries about the capacity. So, um, slight switch over here. And one thing very different about my chassis compared to the others, other than the crystal chamber, is that the lighting, the lights, they are RGB. So let's Take a look at it. So you hold the power button and the aux together. It goes into this spectrum color changing mode. You can see that the buttons change the light to get together with the with the crystal chamber or even the the blade itself. As you can see from here. And to confirm the color that you want, just press power and aux together again. Oops. Is it? That is the confirmation. Right. So uh, let's run through the fonts and let's do that by. Oh wait, just let's let me just show you that the, the clash effects also takes effect. See so a crash. Okay. Everything shimmers together. So let's put it back and we'll put in the shoto blade. The shoto blade is the short blade actually. So um and we'll run through the fonts. So uh, to put it back. The, the top button, I mean sorry, the lower button which is the power switch aligns with the the button on the hilt and there's actually a groove over here that will make sure that it's aligned properly so you try to put it this way, it goes to a point you cannot go in anymore and it has to align at the top this way so push it in all the way until it's flush to the bottom and at this point of time, um, do not push in further because you may damage the speakers so use your pommel cap, use this and push it in and start screwing so it will secure it nicely and there shouldn't be a lot of force required so when this is done the buttons will align with the, the with the LEDs the switches at the bottom and do a quick test as you can see it's sounding really well let's put in the blades um, let's quickly fasten it just a bit will do this is a pretty good fit actually and now so the first one is by uh, Yoda 
It's your up, I, I can't remember who did this. I don't believe the true power of the dark side. So it's Count Dooku with a bit of prion. Yep, so next one. Look. So I tried to put in every font that uh, Dooku has, uh, not Dooku, sorry. Yoda comes in contact with either in the movies or in the cartoons, the animated series. So let's run through a few more of them. So this is Luke Skywalker. You underestimate my power! Master Skywalker! Anakin Skywalker. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? So this is the one, the Jungling Slayer. Next. Uh, General Kenobi! Kenobi? Oh, let's do this. Let's do the multi phase axe. So you can hold it. It's quite easy to hold, so it's, it's good grip. Press this and turn. Fight one gin. And. I want to see your spaceship the moment your race is over. Patience, my blue friend. You'll have your winnings before the sun is set. You'll be far away from here. Master Windu. Master Windu. Oops. Lord Vader. Um, Rogue One Vader. So again, you can hold the power button for one second to play the track. Next. Darth Sidious. Sidious. Very nice, deep, uh, bassy hum. Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Oops. Back to Yoda. So there you go, hope you like this video and hope you like this design and this saber itself. So again, it's available now at genesisstables.com. There are very very few pieces, in fact there are only two pieces of this. One is already ready to send, the other one is going to take 3 to 4 weeks to build it. 3 to 5 weeks to build it. So if you're interested, grab yours right now. And this shoulder blade is limited, so um, grab it while it lasts. And thank you for watching, hope you have a good time.